vlog too. This is gonna be great. We're gonna make some steak sandwiches. And by steak sandwiches, I mean one steak sandwich. For me, you're gonna watch me make it and then maybe have a bite of it. Let's get started. I just washed my hands. Every good chef knows to wash their fucking hands. First step, we're gonna chop our steak up into little pieces. Because uh, I had a leftover steak from yesterday. So check this out. Leftover steak from yesterday. Just a honker. It smells amazing. This was one of the best steaks I've ever made in my life. It was so expensive. The whole piece together was like $35 at the grocery store. And I ate two thirds of it, let's say. And then this chunk is still left. So this, this bad boy needs to get consumed today. And I want to do it by slicing it up and refrying it. But I think I want to do like, um, like a little marinade with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with slicing it up, chef's knife. If you don't fuck with one of these, you gotta get one of these. You don't have like a proper chef's knife. Look at, look at how perfectly, just take a minute, how perfectly I cooked this yesterday. Beautiful, I wanna say medium rare. I think it's a little on the rarer side, but fuck was it good, man, goddamn. We're gonna do a little bit of kimchi flavor in there, a bit of chili miso in there. Kewpie mayo will be our mayo base. And then we're gonna put it on a shakupan, a shakupan, shakupan. I made a TikTok about this. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these shaku pan. Unbelievable, look how soft and fluffy. Is this the best video you've ever seen in your life or what? Look how fucking fluffy that is, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh. This is what I imagine Kirby feels like. A fancy bread cutting station, my fancy bread knife. We'll save those for later. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make the marinade. We'll do a bit of soy sauce. Just a bit. It doesn't really matter. A lot of this is gonna come off. I don't think it's gonna soak it. The rice vinegar. Just a torch, just a porch. Um, just the tiniest dash of sesame oil. You really don't need much, it goes a long way, sesame oil. Ooh, maybe even, I might make some wasabi. I'm gonna make some wasabi as well. So we'll put some wasabi on there. Um, and now I'm gonna spoon in just a bit of the Okazu spicy chili miso. That will be the marinade for our steak. I feel like I'm supposed to use this opportunity to talk about something in particular. I think what I want to talk about is I'm going away this weekend. I'm going to Calgary Expo. Uh, it's my second ever Comic-Con. I've never been to one in Canada before. I'm very excited to be going to meet some Canadians at an expo like this. I don't know what it's going to be like because typically, I will say, Canadians are more chill than American. Like we've done shows in Canada and they've been awesome. They've been really fun, but it's not exactly I'm going to toss this, toss the steak into the, the mix that I just made up. It's been really fun, but they're not as like wild and crazy. Like Americans are like, Americans are like, what? Like they're fight, they are out of their minds excited about stuff. Like they're fans of things, you know what I mean? So Letterkenny and Avatar and like whatever else people might be interested in meeting me for, let's be real, probably just Letterkenny. Or The Void, people like The Void, I guess. Uh, but you know, people, to look at how good that's looking. Holy, oh my God. Um, people typically in Canada are just very, you know, they nod, they're, they're like, hey, what's up? Love the show. Love the show, bud. Hey, bud, love the show. In America, a lot more excited. So when I did my first Comic-Con in Alabama, you know, I could like, you know, I was kind of like, okay, some people might show up to this. I have no idea. This is a bigger convention, Calgary Expo, than the one in Alabama. But I actually have no idea if anybody's gonna show up. I don't know how many people are gonna come. I know that we have, from the show, we've got like Tyler and Michelle and Dylan and Andrew, so like, hockey and skids and you know like there's people on the show so like it might people might be interested in meeting all of us or whatever but so that might draw people in but i actually have no idea how what this is going to be like so let's set it to seven and a half i'm going to set it to just medium high i'm going to toss some butter in there and we're going to fry up this delicious situation in butter i'm excited to go to the comic-con i'm excited to meet folks if you're going to be there let me know um my convention agent is you know, he's working his tail off. He's trying to get us at places. I'm excited to do more of them. So hopefully this is a positive experience, just like the last one. And I can I can comfortably go, I'm excited to, to go to the next place. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. I haven't packed yet. I put my headshots and stuff like in a in a suitcase. I uh, got my oil-based Sharpies together. So I got, I, I'm ready in that sense. I don't even like a day and a half. So I have plenty of time. You're an early packer. Please tell me your secret. Tell me in the comments below, what's your secret of packing early? Engagement bait. Evan, you don't need engagement bait. People are gonna watch you for your amazing steak sandwich abilities. Other things I wanted to talk about on this sesh. Um, this will be my, I'm trying to think of the, it's like, I think I've been away from Dewey and Atlanta 
before. Like I have obviously, but maybe this is the first time away during like the spring time, like where things are just getting nice outside and they're outside all the time. It's been really nice in Toronto. Things are getting nicer. I got a power washer. I sprang my deck, so. Ooh, I gotta do more power washer videos, yeah. Also wanna play power washer more on Twitch because man, that was fun. Okay, I think this is ready to fry up. I'm just gonna lay these all down. I would love to do more TikTok lives that work, but TikTok is being a pain in my butt and won't let me multi-stream properly. They're not giving me a key. I don't know. With the band coming up and all that, I know that TikTok will always have a place on the global scale, but will it turn into something like WhatsApp? Where you really only use it with your like few like friends from around the globe, and it's not necessarily like a, a common element anymore in North American uh, culture. Cause like, again, if TikTok gets banned in the States, like Canada's, not that Canada's not far behind, but like there'll be no use for it in Canada, I don't think. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, frying that up. So while that's happening, and it'll happen really quick, um, I'm gonna wash a few, Pieces of lettuce, a little iceberg situation, and I'm just gonna hack off a, a, a limb of this, and then I'm gonna do a quick rinse. Mm, and turn down the heat on the steaks, because they really, doesn't need to be cooked long. Care for your ears, I'm about to wash this iceberg. Iceberg ahead! Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna dry it off. I don't have a salad spinner or anything. And then I'll slice it up in chunks, because I do really like, I like keeping but I probably don't wash all the bugs out when I do this, but I really like keeping the crunch element to it. So I kind of just, I'm just gonna slice it in this way so that I can maintain some of the, the crunch on the bread. Yeah, so this doesn't need long. So I'm gonna flip these over to the other side now. I think about 30 seconds on the other side and they should be good, which means I should get onto my bread cooking. But I was thinking maybe I would do the bread in the pan itself and uh, do a little bit of butter. And, and just fry up the bread that way, because that's, that's how you make sure it's really healthy. So while I get the bread ready, I also have to do my wasabi powder. Pretty sure it's just one part water, two parts wasabi. So we'll make a bit of it. I'm just gonna do one of these. I'm just gonna do one little scoop of, scoop of water. And then you just mix it up. And it's actual like, it's actual spice to it. I feel like a lot of wasabi that I get in, in like sushi restaurants has zero spice to it. Very upsetting. And if it's too dry or too whatever, you can just add more water. So I'm gonna slide them out in the bowl, let them soak in their juices for a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna get an extra little bit of butter. I'm not gonna clean up the pan or anything because I want that fat and all that for the bread. Yeah, I think another little hit of butter is fine. That's health, baby. Gotta keep it healthy, gotta keep it tight, gotta keep it right. Uh, always use fancy butter. If you don't use fancy butter, you're a fucking clown. Unless you can't afford fancy butter, in which case, fair because fancy butter is fucking expensive, dude. I don't think I can afford it, but boy, do I spend the money on it. So we're gonna put this back up to seven and a half because I want it to kind of be ready to, to pop. Um, let's look at the wasabi. That's looking okay. I'm gonna do a little tooch more water. Oh yeah, that's looking so good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's nice. Nice and creamy wasabi. I like it creamy because I want to spread it a little bit. Maybe I'll even mix it with the QP mayo. Hold on, let me get a hit of this, see how spicy it is. I spoke too soon. It's all right, it does something in your mouth. It's not really hitting the, um, the sinuses the way like a real wasabi does. It's flavor. It's flavor. Okay, so get the shakupan on. Shokupan, damn it, I can pronounce literally anything. Fancy, fancy Japanese knife, duh. Big, thick piece, you love it thick. Kind of like French toast, Texas toast style, right? You throw that back down like that. And um, I'm gonna make these pieces as I go. Cause you don't wanna like, I don't want the bread to like sit there or not. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in and wait for it to fry up a little bit, rotate it, decorate my half of a sandwich and then consume it. I, considering putting a little bit of Dijon, considering uh, like a banana pepper. Get a nice little crisp on there. It's starting up, can you hear it? It's starting up. Let's get a little bit more butter in there. Just toss a bit more butter. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Okay, we'll give that a second more. We get a couple of these ready, just so that I have them. 
I get these from Costco. That's how much I eat uh, banana peppers. Oh yeah, those are gonna be good. Yeah, that's good. So that's the one, that's the one side is done now. I'm gonna fry up the other side lightly. Man, this butter situation, epic. Just trying to die. Honestly, I think this is how my grandpa died. Just butter. Eat butter and cheese sandwiches every day and die extremely young. Shout out! That's enough. That feels good. Now we're going to assemble. We'll do two pieces like that. Bit of cubey mayo on the bot on both sides. You gotta do cubes. Got cubes. I, I think I'm gonna hit the. I think the Dijon makes sense. I think this works. Oh god. Oh god. It's already just coming out. Oh fuck me. I do think Dijon. It's a nice. It'll help the wasabi actually have a bit of a kick or something, but I don't know if it'll have a real effect. So I'm just gonna spread it around, just on the one half, and then I'll leave the other half without the wasabi. I'm gonna take some kimchi. And you know I gotta use chopsticks to get kimchi. You're not supposed to go in there with a fork, you guys. That is unethical. Okay, so we're gonna grab some pieces of kimchi and arrange those in the sando. Okay. And then I'm gonna put, oh yeah, just some pieces of lettuce. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be real. I'm just gonna put two of these on, so that's fine. And a couple chunk of steak. Maybe I'll do three pieces on this guy. And I think that's all I want on this. And this is gonna be a bite of it, cause fuck. That's good. And the wasabi's got a nice heat in the mouth, but which it shouldn't. That was nice. Mm. I attribute a lot of that quality to the steak, like the, the deliciousness, but fuck, the flavors are nice. The mix of all the various umami and salts. Mm. Fatty, a little bit of heat. The bread is really light and crispy and fluffy. Now it's mashed down to my with my fingerprints. You know it's good when you do that. Look guys, this is a video. Oh my god. The air purifier turned on because of how much meat juice is in the air. Oh, it's chugging, it's like red. Well, this is the last video I ever make because I die because of the sandwich. I had fun. Thank you. Don't forget to find me on Twitch if you want to hang out more. Bye bye.